I have with me, is it God Fry? God Free. God Free? Yeah. God Free. <laughs> <laughs> a comedian from uh, Nebraska. No, well, I was born in Nebraska, raised in Chicago, and been in New York 18 years. So. And that's where you're living now in New York? Oh, yeah. And he's been putting... Um, <laughs> He's been putting in work since the mid '90s. Yeah. He has made an appearance on BET, VA, VH1, and Comedy Central. Showtime. As well Close. as a regular on the Howard Stern show. I am. <laughs> I've done some voiceover on there, so good. <laughs> uh, that's amazing. <laughs> <laughs> well, welcome to the show. Welcome. Thank you for having me to your show. I've seen you, <laughs> seen your talk show. Uh, the you Father State? People. Yeah. you seen the Father State? I've seen it. You, What's your Amber Rose, your DC Fly, Young Fly. Yeah. 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 Are you a slap maker? Am I a what? A slap maker. A slap maker. Remember What's Amber that? Rose says she's a slap? Oh, sl yeah. I know Amber Rose. I, I have one of her shirts. Slut uh, right. shirts, so yeah. So she says she's a slut, and she, I say that. At least she, if you own up to it, it's all good. And so are you a slut maker? I, I, uh, I don't know. I, I'm a, I think I'm a, I'm a slut meter. I meet sluts. But how about a slut maker? A maker? I don't make sluts, no. You don't? I, I, treat, I try to treat women like, you know, like human beings, no matter what the situation is. You so know? you don't have sex out of wedlock? I, <laughs> yeah, I do. So I you're do. a slut maker. I, I guess if that's what you want to call it. I don't think so. I think it's just, I, I just like, it's called good good encounters. I call it good encounters. You call with a little bit of friction. <laughs> <laughs> so you call sex out of where it like good encounters? Yes, depending on how you handle it. Now, if you, they say you have sex and you kick the person out quickly, that's slutty. You know, make them feel like a slut. But if you let them stay around... You let them eat, you talk. So if you let the like slut hang around for a while, then what happens? No, it make her feel, you humanize her instead of dehumanizing her. You understand? Amazing. Yeah, you, amazing. Uh, <laughs> 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 amazing. Amazing. Yeah, amazing, yeah. And so are you a Christian? I mean, I, when I was growing up, my parents were Episcopalian in Chicago. I mean, we called it Christian. It was all under the same. You say your same. parents pissed the palin? They were. A, they didn't piss nothing. They were oh. Episcopalian. Oh, I thought That's they pissed the palin. That's a They didn't piss. They pissed. No, <laughs> <laughs> they were pissed when I stopped uh, going to church. But I mean, if you want to call it that, I'm just. I believe in some kind of higher power. I have God in my name. I win already. Feel right. me? Right, God free. There huh? you go. And so, are you a Christian? I'm. I'm just. I'm just a person seeking. Spiritual knowledge. That's what I want to say. I'm a wanderer. I don't know my denomination. I have Muslim friends, Christian friends, Pentecostal friends. Half the time, I don't even know what Pentecostal is. But Pentecostal, I have their Seventh Day Adventist. I don't know what that is. Um, there's all kinds of people. But I just so how are you treating the next person? I all I care is that is right. application. I don't care how many prayers you do. What are you doing day to day to apply any of this? Right. Do you understand? And so, are you a Christian? <laughs> No, I'm not. Okay. <laughs> Are you a Christian? Yes. Well, what makes Is you a Christian? It, uh, um, I love God. Okay. With I mean, all me my too. heart, soul, and might. Okay. He's drawing me back into the kingdom of within. Okay. And so, kingdom an, within, uh, that means inside you. The heaven, yeah. Okay. And it's an honor to be a Christian. Uh, uh, it's a blessing to be it's a Christian. It's a blessing to be a Christian. Yes. Are you saved? Yeah. Uh, I Whoa, don't know well, what you, you mean by no, saved. No, I mean, you do. And the reason I don't use the word saved because that's what the Christians are using. Yeah, and you use can that see word. that they are not saved, right? Yes. But I am. Been, I have been born again of God. You're born again Christian. Yes. Born again. So born again Christian usually, this is what I think. My friends that became born again Christians, they just don't have sex anymore really a lot. They just try to hold back from that. Amazing. But right. they're really not, they're not. That's all. I think that's, so that's, all, that's the hardest part about being uh, saved but, is like not having sex. And, and so you think that they're, but they're still evil at heart? Sure. Because I. So they have, been, they have not been born again then? Well, I mean, a lot of born agains are still evil too. No. You can't yeah. be born again to be evil. Yeah, you can. Because oh, we're so human you think and a lot God, of people make mistakes and a lot of people do things out of just like habit and a lot of these do uh, religious stuff out of showing off. So you think God is evil? I didn't say God was evil. So how can you be born again? Because of him yeah, be I'm evil? watching how the people act. That's where I get my my. Uh, <laughs> it's not about good because if I am I supposed to see God within you, right? 
Okay. I'm not saying that God is evil at all. If the concept of God But is, how can you be born again of God and be evil? Because a lot of people do. That's why you say born again, because, you know, you can keep, man, you can probably keep being born again. No, you, you can't do it but up. one time. You have you, once to die and once to live. Okay, so if you're born again and say you mess up, what happens? You don't mess up. Let's, yeah, people mess up. Not what? if they're born again of God. Oh, wow. You know, do you know every born again Christian on the planet? I know that if anybody to mess up, what do you call mess up? Me, you mess up. You know what I mean? Like, say you grope somebody in the church. You say you grope them and you, you squeeze their booty and they're like, oh, you're supposed to be born again. He's like, well, well when I squeeze your booty, I feel born again. But a born again person wouldn't be doing that. I, you don't know that. Yes, though. I do. I no, know you, that for you, a So fact. you know right now, right now, there's a born again, every born again Christian right now, right now all over the planet, everyone is doing it perfectly. No one's like, makes there's probably a heroin addict that's born again. It's probably some smoking weed. In the, in, you smoke weed? Eh, not really. Do you smoke weed? Every once in a while. <laughs> do you? So you do smoke weed? Not really. Do you smoke weed? Sometimes. So you do smoke weed? Then? Every once in a while. So you do? The Sometimes. Answer, so, <laughs> so the You're answer, like the James Brown of interviewers. What do you, you mean? You smoke weed? Yeah. <laughs> you smoke weed? Yeah. You sure? Yeah. <laughs> no. <laughs> Amazing. Amazing. And so, um, yes. um, I got to ask, do yes, you, sir. do you, is it true that, um, that you call black women queens? Well, I don't use queens. I just, I just stand up for them. They are queens, obviously, but I am, I'm, a, I'm, oh, but pro you don't black call woman. them queens. I don't go queens all the time. I don't use the term queens. Oh, but good. I, 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 re, I revere them as though, as that, because they are. Queens. What queen? What does that mean to be a queen? A queen, not this. It's like a royal thing. It's like a respect thing because they should be treated like they should put them on a throne because we need to show more respect for them because black men have been pretty. We've been pretty unloyal to them as far as like political, as far as emotionally, as far as we just been. They've always been been by our side no matter what we've been through. Black women have always stood up for us. And I'm and, and I'm just saying we so should sometimes saying take a So you that black women should be put on a throne? Sure. And and, and why? Because every other woman is. Why don't you call them queens then if you believe that they should be put queens, on a throne? Because I like to just say I just like to show them my respect through my actions. And 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 I and 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 and, I, and it's the same as calling them queens because I treat them that way. Amazing. Uh-huh. And you said you should treat them that way because yes. all other women are treated that way. Yeah, we we looked up to white you, women. We um. Oh, Latin you put women, white lot, women on on a throne? No, I said a lot a lot of black. Do you men. put white women on a throne? No, I do not. <laughs> Because they'll call the police on you. Oh. <laughs> white women are Decepticons. And so... Um, 53% of them so voted for Trump. So who will put the white Come women on. on a throne? Uh, the society does. How is that? Well, you know, you look at um, advertising. There's always white women advertising for makeup. As if, if They're always the standard of beauty. And so all these uh, other ethnic women always try to be like them, try to have their standard of beauty be like them. And, we, and that's not fair. You understand? That's why Asian women are running to try to be white women. Latin women try to be running to be white women. And black women, some of them, you know, want to have the same. Because black men actually, percentage-wise, always, you know, praise other women. What do you— A lot of times. So, I'm not saying every black man does that, but it's usually that, it's the so, case. Um, so do black men put white women and other women on, on A lot the of throne? times, yeah. yeah. Now, I didn't why, say every black man, but a lot of them do. That's why they're marrying them? Sure. Because they're putting them on a throne? Sure. Amazing. And you think that the black woman should be put on the throne? Damn right. And why again? Because our mothers, our aunties, our grandmothers have done so much for us, and black women have taken the burden of everything in society. But it's and black... they're treated, and they're the lowest ranked as far as beauty, which is not the truth. It's the black women, black mothers who have put the uh, uh, black men, boys and girls, and now adult men and women— in the situation that they're in. What situation that they're in? Weak and angry and insecure. And, no, that's, that's, uh, that's, no. There's a lot of amazing that? black people no. that have had strong black mothers. And the reason why No they such have, thing. <laughs> yeah, okay. Amazing. <laughs> amazing. <laughs> you believe that black women are strong? Hell yeah. You know, did you know there's, there's not no enough such thing? black women superheroes? So what you have just admitted yeah. that mm. you are weak then. 
How would I be weak? Because there's no such thing as a strong woman, just weak men. That's not true. Yes, it is. How? How? <laughs> how is it that black women are so strong? So was your mother a strong woman? No. She was white? There's no such thing. She was black. There's no such thing as a strong woman. How is it that? <laughs> how is you got to be in the boondocks. I hope you're at the new season of the boondocks. <laughs> <laughs> how is it that black women are so strong? Yeah. Man. Give me an example of a strong tolerance, black woman. Tolerance, man. Tolerance. What does that mean? What do you mean by to- that? Look at tolerance of being put down every single day. Tolerance put of not down being how? considered number one. Put by down us. how? Put down by shutting, the, saying that they're not pretty enough. They're not this. Who they're said not that? that? And they're the most educated Who in America. Who said that? We, black men, white men say it. Have oh, you, so you have said that black women are not pretty enough? I never said that. You said we. Black men, oh, you guys, oh, you specifically. <laughs> have you ever said that? Because you said your, your mother is weak because she's black. That's All what you women said. are weak. No. Physically, you mean? Period. No. Yeah. 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 He's not. So do you think that the woman, would, do you agree that the woman came from the man? We came from the woman. No. Do you, cre- the do you believe that God created the woman from the man? No. I, it's scientifically proven you that the black woman so did is the, the man oldest. Co- was the man created from the woman? Yes. Amazing. Oh, yeah. That's right. This is what's wrong with black men. What's what's, what's wrong with black they men? They think like women. Now nah, you see. Now you now you flipped it. You know, you, I know your tricks. What do you mean? <laughs> I didn't think like so. So Steve Harvey wrote the wrong book. Did he write the book like that? Think like a man. If I were you, I put that book away. I did. I never read it. Oh, good for you. <laughs> I so just let me ask: are, are black women spiritually stronger? Hell than? yeah! Whoo! Yes. Where's the proof of that? Black churches, man. You can go to churches. They're always they're the root of the black church. They're the root of churches, man. Yeah, sure. That's what makes them stronger. Oh, what makes them stronger? Because they're just they got it. They they. What make them spiritually stronger than the man? Spiritually stronger because they have a lot of faith in us, even though we keep screwing up so much. They always have a lot of faith in us. They in, always in us tend who? to be black men. If even the to, ones that go astray. So they're spiritually <laughs> than men because they. The proof is. They have a lot of their loyalty to us, their tolerance, they hate their men. unconditional love. Black women hate black men. There's a reason why. So how can you be our spirit- irresponsibility? But they made you that way. No, they didn't. They we made did you that. No, they recreated that. you in their image. No, <laughs> <laughs> they recreated us in their image. Yeah. Oh, no, they did not. Well, why do you, why do well, black okay, men act black like? Black men were created by black women. Then we would be way better. We'd no, be way you ahead. were recreated by them. You're just like them. No, we're not just like them. They black men get angry like a woman, just like mama. Black men get angry just in like society. mama. Yeah, well, they can't handle anything. That's they not take true. words personally. Nah, that depends on the individual. They look to the woman to take care of them instead of taking care of the woman. That, well, that's that's see how you just see it's black men being irresponsible. But you the just woman said made it. that mama made their nah, mothers made mama them that didn't way. Do that. Mama, there's a lot of moms and they that are ride, very responsible. when they're driving in car, they ride in the woman's seat rather than driving. Oh, see now you out your damn mind right now. What you that's mean? What, that's amazing. Uh, amazing. <laughs> amazing. Isn't that true? <laughs> no. <laughs> no, it's not. Do you think that a man that's Riding with a woman, yeah, and sits in the woman's seat rather than driving the car himself. So a passenger seat is the woman's seat. Yeah, there's the baby seat. But and I'm talking about seat. all right. If the man, if it's a man and woman in the car together, right, and the should the man driving. be driving? No, beta. <laughs> is the, that a beta male? I'm alpha. Is that a beta male that does that? Nah, maybe some. Sometimes let her drive. Why? Because you don't feel like it. Sleepy. Beta. Tired. No, no beta. I'm alpha, all 100%. And I've been driven around ever, by women. Would you ever, as an adult male, ride in a car and a woman is driving? Would I ever? Uh-huh. Yeah, I've done it plenty of times where a woman's driving and I'm, and I'm sitting back chilling. And it depends. Listen, it depends on how you're sitting in the car. If you're sitting up all upright, you look like a beta male. But if you're leaning back, boom, that means, uh, that's some, you get a gangster lean, it means you know you're running it. You know what I'm saying? Drive me around, girl. You got to make sure you... You push that chair all the way back like this. You got to be like that all the way Have back. Have you noticed that like no that. one treats the black man worse than the black woman does? White men do. No. 
No. White uh, men treat black. black women treat black men worse than any other race on no, earth. No, you are wrong. How am I wrong? You are wrong because it's proven. How You've been is on it? this planet a pretty long time, no? Yeah. Okay. How is it that the white man treat them worse than the black woman does? How are you going to even question white male treatment? How, what do you mean? <laughs> they treat us like crap. Well, not every you? okay. Listen, I'm going to make sure not every white man is <laughs> bad. Is here. <laughs> oh, not every. Oh, that was, you know, you telling me? Amazing. <laughs> this is, not every white man is bad, but the worst treatment have you from have, a black man is white males and then white women. Have you been treated badly by a white man? Of course. And what would it? I'm sorry happened? to say, of course, but sorry, but of what course. did they do to you? Oh, they discriminated against me. In what way? Um, by not letting me have certain opportunities because of what I look like. Do you discriminate? Uh, it depends. If it's like do you, you ugly, yeah, ugly, yeah. Do you I, discriminate? Yes, I do. So, I'm, I'm shallow like that. So sometimes. the white man that would not let you because of my color, my have skin. the job. Yes. Uh, was he wrong? Yes, he was. So is it wrong for you to discriminate against ugly women? Well, I don't necessarily discriminate. I just, I just. You said you did. I just don't choose them. Were you for, wrong for not choosing them? <laughs> I don't know. It depends on what what angle you take it. You look at it. You know, it really depends. If black women are so <laughs> so, if white man can oh. is wrong for doing it, why is it that black men are not wrong for doing it? Black men and women, why is it there's an excuse for that? For what? Black discriminating. Men. Discriminating. I, I I don't want to use that word discriminating. What word you want to like to use? For, for because with white men discriminating against us, that's like a, that's the proper word. You know, to use. What? Discrimination is it, discrimination is usually whites discriminating against ethnic people. Is it only wrong when white people discriminate? No, it's wrong when anybody does it. So is it wrong for black people to discriminate? It is, but we don't really have the power to discriminate that much. Then why you do it? I don't do it. But why do black people do it if they don't have the power what, to like do what, it? Like, what, what, when, do, when do they do it? When do black people do it? All the time. When? You're discriminating right now. When? Don't you disagree with me about things? Do I disagree with you about things? Yeah. Uh, pretty much everything. That's discrimination. No, it's, <laughs> it's disagreement. <laughs> there's, there's, there's a dis, there are, the word dis is there, but disagreement so is what I do with you. Why, so, why do so many uh, black men date other races? Why do so many black men date other races? Because sometimes, you know, they might be feeling a little bit low self-esteem. They don't feel like they're good enough. They don't feel like... They don't feel good enough of what? Sometimes they don't feel good enough about themselves and about their people, and about no, no knowledge but, of self and no But they feel self -pride. good enough but to some, marry another woman outside some, the race? Listen, don't, don't misconstrue my words. Sometimes you actually like somebody because they're, of who they are. It has nothing to do with their race. They just happen to be a different race. That is a fact. You understand? Right. But sometimes, you know, you might it might be your type. Maybe you like a, a different type of race because that's your type. There's nothing wrong with having a type. But there's a lot of cases that no one addresses that black men will date other races because they are just don't want to date black women. But you they might have a that. bad history with black women or they just don't like themselves. And it's a reflection on who they date sometimes because it's self-hate. You say that they might not feel good enough. So are yes. you saying that they feel good enough to marry a white woman or Mexican usually not or even, Japanese, it's usually not even a top. Japanese, but yeah. they don't feel good enough to marry a black, black woman? And it's, never, and it's usually never. Why don't they feel good enough like, to marry a black woman, but they know. can marry all the other races? It's not about good enough, but sometimes. You said that. that no, you said that. No, you no. said because they might not feel good enough. Because, about I asked, themselves. Why, don't they marry, why do they marry about outside themselves. their races? And, and he here's said the thing, they a lot of times feel when we good do, enough. So are you saying they like, feel good enough to marry every race but the black woman? Right, here. Here's sometimes this is what we do. We will date a white chick, but it's never top notch white girl. It's always like it's always average looking, you know? It's always eh. And black women, vice versa. They always they, they won't date like the George Clooney's or whatever. They get an average looking dude. It, it's either white people have good taste or black people have shitty taste. You understand? And have you ever dated a white woman? I've had sex with them before. So have you ever dated one? No, I've had sex with them. Would you marry a white woman? No. Why not? I want black children. Oh, you, why? Huh? Why? Because they're, they're cool. <laughs> <laughs> black children are awesome. But you hit the, head, the nail on the head when you said because they had bad experiences with their mothers. 
It can be a mother thing. That's what it that is. is. Daddy issues for black women that do the other thing, right? That's, yes. It's daddy issues. That's a fact. It's usually family structure. Right. There's they Oedipus hate their mother, complex. so they're trying to get away from mama. There's Oedipal pro- complexes. There's Electra complexes. They, try, they hate their mother, so they're trying to get away from mama. Right. right. They don't want to see they anything that reminds them of their mother. Right. And I understand that's a psychological thing. I get that. But why is it's it— It's a spiritual thing. A, a lot. Why is it that we never get top-notch white girl? It's never the bad, bad ones. You rarely— Well, you said they don't feel good enough. Right, but how are you going to leave your race and get the shitty version of because the other race? Because they hate mama. No, that's low self-esteem. You can't, you can't. Listen, you know a white girl is fine when other black women go, damn, that's a bad chick right there. See, you want to get black girl approved white girl if you're going to get you a white girl. What do you think about the great white hope? What about that? Tom Brady? The great white hope. What do you think about Tom him? Brady? You don't know who the great white hope is? Oh, you mean Donald Trump? Uh-huh. You Thank can, you. I can do a great you Donald. See that, right? You want to see my Donald? You Watch see my that? Donald. Watch this. See the great white hole. Cup. Let me give you. Give me the cup. No. Okay. What are you gonna do with it? I'm just gonna do my Donald Trump for you. I was gonna like talk to you in oh. Donald Trump. Okay. Here you go. <laughs> your show's amazing. I really loved your show. <laughs> I can't wait to be on it again. Thanks a lot. There. <laughs> <laughs> this is a great show, I swear to God. It's my favorite. How about Amazing. that? Huh? Uh, yeah, I nailed it. Amazing. <laughs> Amazing. So do you agree with me that he is the great white hope? Wow. And you're on the set, you're on the cup with him as if have you ever met him before? And what does it say? It says the great black hope. And you're going to the great white hope, is it versus or you're trying to farm allies with Donald Trump? When he finish, you know, he has to do four more years. Yep. Then I'll run next. Oh, you're gonna run next. Yeah. Do you After like? Are years. you a Donald Trump fan? All the way. Why? Because he's the great white hope. How? He's a good man. He's put America first. Did you vote for him? No, I did not. I bet money though that he was gonna win. <laughs> did you vote for Hillary? Uh, no. You didn't vote at all. Bernie Sanders. Oh, you voted for Bernie? Yes. Are you a socialist? I I, I don't know. I socialize with people. Are I you a socialist? Parties. I go to parties and stuff. Right. Are you a socialist? <laughs> I don't even know what that is. But why did you vote for Bernie? Because I just, you know, I did a little benefit for him, and then I said, oh, I might as well vote for him. He had some good stuff to talk about. He was in the civil rights movement, stuff like that. I just chose I chose the lesser of the evils, man. Everyone got some dirt on it, but I just got to vote. So because, he was evil. Because black people died for our ability to have the right to vote, so I have to do that. I have to do my dil- due diligence. You understand? So Bernie Sanders is evil? I not say he's evil, but I think every you politician has You said the less of the two evil. Uh, the less of the evils as far as like, okay, you this Bernie person has evil? dirt, this person has dirt. Who do you choose? It's like going into a, it's like going into a brothel. Some 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 are sluttier than others, but you got to try and see which one looks the cleanest. Are you amazing? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> uh, Godfrey is here. We're going to take a call for, for him. I got to ask you this before we take a quick break. Yeah. Besides the physical body parts, I'm not asking you that. What is a man? What is a man? Yeah. A man is uh, the decisions he makes in life and how he chooses to deal with them. What is love? Love is um, the, fe- the emotion and the feeling that you have for something for someone. Do you love white people? No. You don't love white I people? I love people. How about white people? I love I like I love good white people. How about white people? Good white people. Do you love white people? Good white people. How about white people? My boy Chad, he's white. I love that guy. But you don't love all white people? No, I do not. Amazing. I gotta take a quick break. When we come back, we'll take some calls. <laughs> okay. <laughs> back in a moment. <laughs> Check out my nonprofit organization, Bond, the Brotherhood Organization of a New Destiny. For 28 long years, we have been rebuilding the family by rebuilding the man, bringing back God's order. God in Christ, Christ in man, man over woman, and woman over children. It's a spiritual order. And when you're in that order, men and women are not in competition with one another. And so we're showing these guys how to forgive. Forgive their failing parents first. Most parents mean well, but they make mistakes along the way. 
and the children hold on to their anger, especially against their mothers, and they don't go and forgive, realizing that you can't help yourself. You become like your mother's when you resent. So we show them how to do that. We work with all men. Go to rebuildingtheman.com. We need your support. Super Chats. Uh, Joel. Super Chats. You met Joel, right? Joel? Right there. Your name is? Joel. Oh, Joel. I know yeah. a girl named Joel. I was like, what? No, uh, not Joel. Jo- Joel. What's Joel. Joel, what's up, man? What's up, man? He black. I know. <laughs> I see it. <laughs> Amazing. Amazing. <laughs> uh, black. I see that. I see that. Super chat, Daryl. Yeah, I see uh, Streamlab super chat from Soul Conscious, and he says, or she says, Jesse, I do boot camp and CrossFit classes, and these classes are intended to build strength and muscles. But yet I see less and less men in them. Why are men becoming weaker? The great black hope. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> That's right. Men are becoming weaker because they're listening to the woman. And every time you listen to the woman, you will suffer. Mm, really? Yeah. Why is that? Have you noticed that? Um, It depends on the woman. Have you noticed that? It depends on the woman. But have you noticed that when men listen to women, they suffer? No. Actually, when a lot of men just think about to, it, every time a lot of men that listen, listen to, to women have actually um, um, every time you listen to the woman, have you noticed it didn't go right for you? Not all the time, but I've actually I've actually listened to some women that actually they were right about things. Amazing, because <laughs> they're good observers, man. When you doing you doing uh, dumb stuff. Amazing. I can't curse on this. How right? come? Right, you can't curse. I'm sorry. I said the I said the s yeah. h word. I sorry. expect that from you. You're black. <laughs> Amazing. Uh, uh, Amazing. <laughs> there was, I'm trying to see up there. Any more, Joe? Um, that's all I see from right here. Oh, okay. I um, I want to take some calls. You want to take some calls? Oh, okay. You just answered. That was the answer? What was the answer? The, the girl that just asked about the CrossFit. Oh. Uh. You did. That was it. I mean, that's all she asked. So, oh, she just said she takes CrossFit. Not, not a lot of men in it. There's men in CrossFit. You know, CrossFit is actually dangerous for you. Anyway. What is that's what, what is CrossFit? CrossFit is when they do a lot. You know, they do, they have these competitions where they you know they you learn how to squat, you learn how to do all these things, but you got to do it a whole bunch of times. You you squat, you do this, you run, you run to this station, run to this station, and you're doing a bunch of different exercises with weights and all that. But sometimes the technique gets bad, and that's where you get spinal injuries, knee injuries, stuff like that. So do it, you do it? No, I just go to the gym. Oh, you do. And, you know, weight train and some cardio. I feel like most men go to the gym. Right. Most yeah. of us go to the gym. Is she, was she a black woman? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> You're another uh, ninja. Yeah. No, Noah's our Kansas. <laughs> our Kansas. <laughs> <laughs> Says, uh, I have it right here. Give me one second. Pulling up the pictures. Noah's our Kansas. Says, uh, oh, he, donate, he donated a, a, a ninja. Right on. And it says D live stream is getting jet lag. <laughs> what and that's, that's all. That's all we got. Right on. Thank you so much. So I uh, absolutely appreciate it. What? I um. <laughs> what just happened? <laughs> Let's go to Zach. Zach is a. This show is heard around the world by everybody and their mama. What? So, and their mama. And their mama. All right. So we're going to go to London and talk to a first-time caller, Jack. First time out of London. Jack, welcome to the show. Thank you for calling. You're on the air. Can you guys hear me? Yes, sir. Uh, hey, hey, Godfrey. Hey, man. What's up, mate? Uh, by the way, my name is uh, Jesse. My name is Zach. Zach as a Z? Zach with a Z. With right. a Z. What's up, Zach? He has Zach, Z A C K, right? Z A C H. Oh, it's Jack, not Zach. No, Zach, Zach, Zach. It's Zach, like Z A C K. Oh, okay. Oh, it's C. Oh, Z A C K. Yeah. It's Zach, Z. Right. Zach. Yeah. Okay. It, it, exactly. All right. He Mexican. <laughs> Go ahead, Zach. <laughs> uh, I just wanted to say to uh, to to Godfrey, I totally agree with you. 
of mine on a uh, on the whole black the whole black women thing with we need to um you know and the, especially with the the black community and everything we need to respect black women especially with a lot of the things that you know the the black community has gone through and everything so I actually do appreciate you being willing to to say that. Oh, well, thanks, man. I mean it. You know, they deserve it. They deserve it. Well, they're the one that's causing all the hell. No, they're not. It's white feminists that are. Stop. No, they're not, man. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry to say it, but I don't, like, I agree with you on some, on some things, but I don't agree with you on that. Why not? <laughs> because, like, you can't say that one group, that one group of, of people cause all the problems, especially, like, Especially some of the problems with the men. You can't say that the women are causing some, even some internal problems. Right. No, it's the, the black woman, the black mother, who causing the problem for the black children <laughs> by turning them away from their fathers toward her. The black children. That's right. why the black yeah, fathers and screwing so, up. Black and so children. the children, the children become like the mothers, and when they become adults, they're just like the mother, angry, out of control. The man can't handle her because it is his mother. I think it's a little bit disrespectful. Actually, really disrespectful right. to to imply that. That's why? Right. Why That's is that? Right. That's right, Zach. Tell him. And, and 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 why is it disrespectful to tell the truth about the black woman? That because it's Wait, not the you, truth. Do you actually think that's the truth? That, right. That is the truth. <laughs> do you think? Is it a fact? It's a fact. Yo, he's on a I, cup with Donald Trump, man. Come on now. What does that mean? How do you how do you know that that's a fact? You can't make up something and then say that it's a fact. You have to have something to back it up. I, I have it. May I give you an example? Yes. Look yeah, at sure. the look at the personality and attitude of the black men and women. They're just like their mothers. The men don't even act like men. They act just like the mothers. They act like the women. There's no difference between the action of the black man and the black woman. But if the men and women had not been turned away from their fathers with their mothers, by their mothers, the boys would not be acting like the mothers. They would be logical rather than angry and insecure and and uh, uh, blaming. It's just the wrong psychology, man. It's that a woman's attitude when, men, when black men blame white men for their failure. That's a woman's personality. What? Well, I do agree in some cases, but I think sometimes they're not blaming. They're actually just saying the reasons for things that are occurring. No, they're blaming. That's why they ask for affirmative action and uh, reparations, because the men are blaming just like the women. You don't believe in reparations? And they're begging. But thank you, Zach. I appreciate it, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> Let me ask you this. Um you believe in affirmative? You want affirmative action? Affirmative action was necessary. Do you want affirmative action? If, if I would, I would, I wouldn't mind getting rid of affirmative action if we were all started on an even playing field. But no, we need some of these things installed because people are on some unfair crap. Do you so want we, affirmative action? Sure. But Why not? As long as it makes us, we, we need to because we need to spread the love. But we, we have given you. We have given you people. Who's of, we? Affirmative Who's action. We? Who, who are you part of? We? What? You Trump administration? You and Trump America? Amer oh, that yeah, America. Yeah. What about it? We have given you people. Uh, <laughs> we gave you this. <laughs> what? We've given you people. Go ahead. We gave you a, the civil rights movement. Right. We allowed you to sit in white cafes and white businesses during that time. Yeah, even in Starbucks still. We giving you white the white you say, Oh, that's not enough. We want white we want to go to school with the white people. So we gave you permission to go to school with the yeah, white people. Yeah, but we didn't always want to go to and school. And then with you them. said, I want to live in the white communities. And so we gave you the white community, even though you turned them into ghettos. Mm. We gave you white community. Did, did black people turn them into ghettos? And then you said, that's not enough. That's not enough. We want to go to white school, but we are not smart enough. Did, you did, have to lower the grade. Did, did we turn them into the ghetto? How much more do you want? Did we turn them we into the ghetto? We even gave you the white woman. We, <laughs> and that's what got us in trouble. <laughs> <laughs> no, you, uh, the blacks start begging for the white women. Why? What Did we turn the, get, the neighborhoods into the ghetto? The blacks do. Blacks do. Yeah. Right? 
No, not 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 like the city purposely doing that and keeping stuff dilapidated. And, well, why and they can un, only purposely level. do it through the blacks? It's only the blacks that no. That it's do only it. the it's only the blacks that get treated like crap and are, are, are relegated to those areas. Let me ask: If they had decent fathers and mothers who were which married, a lot of us do, would they turn the community into a ghetto? No, they would not. So they need decent fathers and mothers, right? Yeah, even if you have decent fathers and mothers, ghettos are purposely made. I got to ask you this. Ghettos are purposely created. Remember, there is a black woman that we allow to come into our country. <laughs> <laughs> and she didn't have the gonads to stand up in her own country and fight back, right? Mm. And so we allowed her to come here. And remember that black woman that climbed the Statue of Liberty? Oh, yeah. Uh, was it Statue of Liberty or? Was, yeah. Okay. All Should right. we send her back to wherever she came from real fast? No. Should we let her fall off the statue and kill herself? Whoa, no. Why not? That's not right. How do you come to my country and tell me what I should be doing? <laughs> you, you you feel this is your country? Uh, it is, 100%. Why do you feel Is this your, your country? country? You know how I feel it's our country? Is it your country? You know why I feel that way? That it is your country? Yeah. I mean, it, it, black people. Is, um, is America your country? You, yes, it is. And you're black, right? And we built it. And why do you feel that? Because we built it. You didn't build it? Yeah. Black people built No, they didn't. Co- who, Donald Trump did? White people did. <laughs> black people don't build, they destroy. No, they don't. Just tell me one we thing that black stuff, people built. But we built, we constructed everybody else's stuff. But you got paid stuff. to do that. Paid to do what? To build to help build America. When when did we get paid? How much did we get paid? I ever whatever they were paying. Whatever, the exactly. Time. It means you weren't getting paid. You got paid with an ass whooping. What do you mean? Really? That's not true what you just said. It's very true. So it's uh what do you think about the blacks who call themselves African Americans and they were born in America? Isn't that dumb? No, it's not. You got to be out of your mind no. to be born in a country, mm. but call yourself something else. African you got to be dumb, You're right? Just trying to have a connection to so, what? To Africa. Well, the folks in Africa don't even like Black Americans. We know that. I'm African. So why are you? You know connect- I'm African, right? Uh-uh. Where are you from? Nigerian. So you were born over there? I was born here. Oh, your parents are from there. My parents and my sister. That's why you have a little sense. <laughs> <laughs> I like how he quote. He just uses quotes unnecessarily. You have a little sense, brother. Amazing. <laughs> yes, I'm African, but Africans don't like African Americans. Not first of all. Nobody like, like Black Americans. Uh, no, every race has a problem with Black Americans. But the you problem why, is, is right? African Americans made fun of. Africans too, because I got made fun of by African Americans also. Yeah, Black African booty scratcher. That is a very famous. And you know why? Black no- African booty scratcher. Whew! It's a lot of adjectives, man. You know why Black Amer? Everybody hate Black folks now. Why now? What do you mean now? Because they're so violent and rude and the, nasty. No, and whites have been the most violent. And, and whining. Whites and, have been the no, most violent on not this true. planet. Not very true. true. Very Literally. True. And very by true. the way. Very true. You might not be aware of this. Mm. We got to have you back. Please! Let me tell you why. Why? Because we celebrate White History Month in July. In July? I thought it was every day. It's July. It's my birthday month. It is? Yeah. Right on. My White History Month? I started it. I started White History Month last year. Oh. So this is our second year to celebrate White History Month. Oh, my goodness. Will you celebrate with us? Okay, I, okay. And there's a lot of information that I looked up about white history that they've been hiding from us for so long. Because they, the people don't want you to know that if it wasn't for white people, there would be no America. Mm, that's what I'm saying. Man, right on. I, I didn't know. Let's take Isis, Isaac out of California. Let's see here. Isaac, welcome to the show. You're on with Godfrey. Yes, how you guys doing? All this well, Isaac. How are you? Yeah. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm well. I'm well. First of all, I'd like to say thank you for having a real brother on there. Yes. As far as God, for you. peace, God. <laughs> thank you. Peace, um, peace. Peace. <laughs> and I want to ask you, um, Jesse, I've called and talked to you before. Yes. You have a problem, and we've talked about this before. You have a problem with black women, but I've never asked you this. Were you ever hugged as a child? Did your mother hug you? Did you have aunts that hug you? People in the community, were you loved and embraced by black women? Well, that's a, you ugly that's a good pro- that's a good you? question, Isaac. 
<laughs> the problem is that the black mothers, and not just the black mother, women do it, period. They are turning the children from the fathers, and by hugging them and giving them so-called mother's love, and it's the mother's love that has killed the soul of the black kids. <laughs> and you stri- you strongly believe that? One hundred percent. I think it's lack of the way the, the the reason why you act the way you act. You talk about black women. You talk about black women in politics. Um, you call them. Are you familiar with them? You call them slow. Are you, you can't familiar even with the, half the words yourself? Are you familiar <laughs> with the wicked witch of the west? No, she's not the wicked witch. I'm, I'm, I'm asking. I'm asking. Wicked God. God. witch of the west. Who are you talking about? Maxine Waters. With the low Maxine IQ. Maxine Waters is the mother of politics. I love Uh-oh. Maxine exactly. Waters. Maxine. She's our modern day IQ. Shirley Chisholm. Leave her Thank alone. Thank you, I Maxine is Eva to the core. How? You know what she did? What she, she did? She spoke at Crenshaw Christian Center once. Okay. They had like a little open forum thing. Mm-hmm. And there were black people there. She was talking to them. And she said to them, mm. uh, the Republican Party wanted, the Republicans want to tear down the projects. And she named all the projects. Yeah. And she said, but I'm not going to let them do that. Oh. And not only am I not going to let them tear down the projects, right. I'm going to be a more for you. And the people went, yes, yes, hey, man, pray. You know how blacks do it. Praise Jesus. Yeah, yes. And she lives in a $4.3 million home mm-hmm. in the suburbs. All the politicians. Tell me that's not wicked. That's not wicked. Amazing. I mean, she's just getting money. You know what I'm saying? But I don't think she should build more projects. But the reason why I think that she— why do she, that's what she offered them. The reason why, them. because they're going to knock them down and build nice stuff to get the black people out of there. That's why she—why does she live in the project then? And her children— her Why daughter would made, she live in the project? Her daughter made buku money helping run her campaign. Okay, but why, she why, sure why would they Maxine Water want well. to live in the project? She made sure that they live well while offering black people nothing. Is that love? Hey, Amen. You know, everybody. No one's perfect. You is know that love? Listen, if you don't, it's called. Is she? Is, is she? Is, is she that a, love? Wait, is she a politician? Is that love first? And then I ask you, of course. Is that love? Love for her people. She has love for her people by keeping but them in the loves project. Living nice too, right? By keeping them in the, by keeping them in the project, right? She ain't keeping anybody in the project. She says she'll be a more, and they applaud it. Praise Jesus. What, what, what speech was this? At Crenshaw Christian Center. Is it on? Is it on? Film? Wherever is that? But, oh, okay. So I agree with you. That's not love. That's evil. <laughs> as far as I'm concerned, oh. they will not touch Nickerson Gardens, Jordan Downs, Imperial Courts, Hacienda, the Pueblos. None of our public housing because we're not going to have them torn down. We need money placed into the development of housing in this country. And one of the things we're going for is a national housing trust fund to build more housing, rental units, and residences. And you agree with that? Housing. That was a wicked wish of the West. She didn't say, we are she going to build project. more she, projects. Yeah. More crappier so projects. Ask, we're going to build a whole block and, of projects. No, she said, you, you, she said, we're going to build better housing, and make you agree a housing with that, better. Right? Yes, I do. Why do black people need someone else to take care of them? Why can't they take care of themselves? Everybody needs a hand. No, why can't they take care of themselves? They can take care of themselves. Why can't you know they take care of them? You're not asking, uh, God White fly, people don't use washcloths. Why people don't use washcloths? So you talk about someone free. not taking them care of themselves. Why can't the blacks take care of themselves? Why do they need somebody to build projects and houses for them? Why can't they do it themselves? What's wrong with the black That's man? That's what she was talking about. No, God forbid. God. That's what she was talking God, about. Yes. What's wrong with the black man that he can't build his own house? Why do they need Maxine? We, it, Maxine is a voice because why she's, do they need a voice? she's in politics why because do they she has need a power a position. That is why we need do a you problem. need a voice to speak for you? Yeah, Maxine is You're a voice. You're unable to speak for yourself. I can speak for myself. But she we doesn't need people speak like, for me. But why does she speak for you? I speak for myself. Why is that? Because I'm a man. Because you don't like black people. Because I'm a man. Right. Why? White men... Mexican men, mm-hmm. Japanese men, everybody speak for themselves, but the white black man. What's wrong with the black man, uh, Godfrey, that he can't speak for himself? The black men do speak for themselves. No, they have Maxine Waters and Sheila Jackson Lee. Yeah, what is wrong the, with black women in politics? The, you have a problem the, with black women no, in politics. My problem is with black men not being able to speak and do for themselves. They do speak for themselves. No, You're going to tell me all those black men in politics don't speak for themselves? Uh-uh. <laughs> 
amazing. <laughs> amazing. <laughs> Scott is out of Colorado. Scott, you're on with Godfrey. Hey, Jesse, thanks for taking my call. Yes, sir. I thought Godfrey was white at first. <laughs> I'm articulate. And Why did you think that? that? I don't know. Uh, and then he nailed the Donald Trump. <laughs> That was great, Godfrey. All right, I appreciate thank you, buddy. you. I, th- I, th- I, I know this. it. He's Scott. white. He wants to be white. He knows it. <laughs> so let me ask you this. Um, uh, yeah. Are you for open borders? Yeah. You want all the illegals coming in? Well, it was their land first. So you it want them be coming like in? We're the illegals. I think the Europeans that came here are the illegals. So you want them coming in? I don't care. You don't care? They can come in as okay. long as they don't cause trouble. They, so everybody's ask- an immigrant. Because of time, let me ask you this. Yes. Uh, when they come here, mm-hmm. they uh, they land in the inner cities first. Right, and of course. So, they are, so blacks are being affected first and foremost Always. by the illegal aliens. Right. right. You agree to that, right? Yeah, yeah, but black people don't mind. Do you agree to that? No, I don't. You don't agree that blacks are affected first and foremost? When it comes to aliens illegal. coming? No. When they come into the black community, they're taking jobs. Are they taking they're jobs? They're overcrowding the schools. Are they taking jobs? Yeah. Like what? Because Just, they'll be hired before oh. the blacks would. Isn't no. that true? Well, I don't know if black people are is trying to cut down the palm trees in um. In, no, is in, that in true LA. or not? Is that true it or not? It depends. Not all. Because some of these the cats that cross the border they're do some really black. hard work. They're, not, they're the ones sitting in the front of Home Depot trying to get work. I don't see any brothers doing that. They're running blacks out of their own community. Does that bother you? Of course it bothers me. Are Anybody you, running us out of our communities, that bothers me, of course. Are you bothered that, that blacks are affected first and foremost by the illegal aliens? Does that bother you? I don't believe it. That's what I'm saying. That the, if it's true, does it bother you? No. It wouldn't it's not bother true. you. If it's true, it wouldn't bother you? Um, yes, it would bother me. It would bother you? Yes. Oh, okay. Whew. <laughs> Whew. I like that. We go around. You, yeah. It's, it's, Finally. It's, you got to you gotta spar. You're, you're a you're mental spar. Did you know that blacks are second class citizens in Mexico? Yes, I do. They're looked down upon. And so, you know why? the word they use for us, right? What's that word? Mayate. What does that mean? Did that mean the N word? Mm-hmm. So, why but would it's an you. M word. So, why are you okay then that when they come into America uh-huh. illegally and they're running you, you people out of your own community, why aren't you bothered by that? Because they're not doing that to everybody. They're not just running. They're doing it to the blacks. Why aren't oh, you bothered not. by it? You already hate it when you when they get here because they I don't hate, hate it when they get here. They hate blacks in, in Mexico. Everybody. Well, everybody hates black people. Why? You hate them. Why do everybody hate them? Because that that we're the race to hate. It's like a conditioned response to well, hate why? us. Well, why? It's I don't know. Could I asked the same thing. Oh, I asked them. Should I say tell them that it's human so, nature? Could it be because blacks are so rude and angry and criminal? No, not no. Because blacks are loving and forgiving, which is a little overboard. Well, we're where a little is too that love? Where is the love? Where is the love? <laughs> I knew you were going to say that. Where so let me ask. <laughs> Jarrell said because they're so messy. Me- what do you mean messy? <laughs> they don't clean their room? What are you talking about? What do you mean, Joe? You know how many uh, you know how OCD black people there are? What are you talking about? Like, there's a lot of clean and neat freaks. What are you talking about? <laughs> but, but, how, but everybody always has to look over their shoulder when they see black people when they walk into a restaurant. They have an attitude. They don't want to test them. You can't correct them because they get mad. Who? Not all. Not all. Most black people. They're loud. Is that what someone they're, said? They're loud. They're... Is that what Joel saying? Joel, is that what you believe? Yeah. Like, they, they, have, they always have an attitude? They have Most of the time, they, they have an attitude. They're hard to deal with. They're stealing. They're killing. Are they, so black people are just stealing all the time? Most of them do. A not lot of the time. Not the truth. Yeah. <laughs> not the truth. Y'all, y'all go give one. You saw one incident, and you Uh-oh. think oh, whites steal way more than black people. I got an incident I want to show whites you. Whites eat more chicken than black people. <laughs> Let me go to Anton. You know why? Because there's more of them in America. So, pound for pound, they eat more chicken than black people. They steal more than us. But there's more right. crime in the black community. There's more. How do you know that? Chicago. And it's, it's set up that way. Chicago. I'm from but, Chicago originally. But how come they're not smart enough not to? To follow the that, because that first of all, there thank are, you. The, the majority of black people that are, are not committing crimes is higher than the ones that are committing crimes. Not true. Crime takes a lot of energy. Crime takes a lot of planning. Not everybody's trying to be do crimes. 
All right. So a lot of times when black people are not doing crimes, they got to start. They have to cause something. It's like a reality they show. Somebody, they, they, they need a writer and somebody to, 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 to fix the script so they can start it and continue it on so they can have excuse for pl- police well, to, to, police to, 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 to arrest people so they can continue that, got the modern day slavery, that. which is imprisonment. But why are they that dumb to follow that, though? Why are they that dumb? Who's to- they? The, the the black people. Why? But like, if, they if, is if not they, all of them. Because right, there's but, a lot of smart black people, and black people are very very smart. Before like us, when the last there's time a you lot see of one. there's a couple of idiots that do do <laughs> that continue and perpetuate it. Yeah, we get it. But there's a lot of black people that are smart and that don't do it. You know what I mean? Let's go to Anton <laughs> out of Florida. <laughs> Anton, first time calling. Doing, all this well, but you're on with uh, God uh, free. <laughs> Hey, Godfrey, how you doing? Uh, Jesse, hey, what's um, happening? I just want to start by saying, man, um, like, I love your show. I first discovered you a few years ago. Thank you. Um, I know that you remember this because you're actually there, but it was when the white guy was assaulted, and it was the little Spanish lady trying to paint him as a racist, and then, like, you just destroyed her. Um, Thank you, man. And then from there, you know, like, I started watching your show more often. But, Godfrey, I have a couple questions for you. Yes, sir. Um, do you know when or, or why the black community has such a stronghold on on wanting to keep uh, you know like welfare going. Do you know like when it first started? Oh what what was that? In the uh, sixties? Yeah, the sixties. Right. Under who? Uh, J. Edgar Hoover. Oh, I mean I'm sorry. No, um, no Frederick uh, it was I thought it was F D R started the welfare system. No. Well that was the Great Society Act or whatnot. Right. And 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 like I'll get to that point later. But Nixon B. Johnson actually Lyndon. started right. what is known now as the welfare state, okay? Right. Because in the early 19th or 20th century or whatever it is, 70 to like 75% of black families have more nuclear families than white families. Now today, it's it's the total opposite. Mm -hmm. Because back then, um, Lyndon B. Johnson was a known white supremacist. Of course. No, listen, listen, hold on. Do your research, okay? I'm not trying to search nothing like that, but I've been listening to you for the last hour. Okay, so... (laughs) Leonard B. Johnson was a known white supremacist. He, he did not like black people. Of course His not. words, and I quote, and I may paraphrase a little bit, he said, I want to do enough just to keep them quiet, not, and to not do enough to make any changes. I have those N-words going to Democrats for the next 20 years. So, so the first thing that he did was implement the welfare system to black mothers by saying, hey, if you don't marry your child's father and push him out of the house, I'll give you more money, whatever, whatever, whatever. Oh, yeah. That's when the destruction of the black family started. By the way, he was a Democrat, okay? Black people have this notion that, like, the Republican Party was good at one point, and then they switched. How the hell did you go from being the good guy to the bad guy? Lyndon B. Johnson actually, um, under, I believe it was Harry Truman, during the Great Society Act, that's when the first started to change, but Lyndon B. Johnson had, he had a more sinister plot behind it. No to court. destroy the black family. Yes. So, with that being said, and I'm going back to the discussion you know, that you and Jesse were having. No, hold, hold on. I'm, like, I'm going to go back to the discussion that you and know, Jesse were having, uh, you know, like somewhat uh, of an exchange on. Uh-huh. And Jesse was saying, why do you think that black women are treated so-and-so, so-and-so, okay? I know that Jesse tends to speak in more so of a um, hyperbolic tone or whatever, yeah. okay? Like it or hate it, whatever like that. But there's a truth behind it, okay? Because because of the fact that black families are being torn down and broken down, for example— I'm a, I'm, I'm a product of, of my environment, right? Yes. My mother had four kids from two relationships. She had twin daughters. My brother Jason had the same father. Mm-hmm. And then she had me, okay? Mm-hmm. I'm a young support kid. I'm 34 years old. My sister's going to be 41 this year. And mm-hmm. my brother, he would have been 37. But he was murdered December 29, 2005 up in New York. Now, mm-hmm. their father died in 1990. Mm-hmm. My brother was maybe about, like, I want to say about eight years old, okay? Mm-hmm. My brother was doing so good in school up until his father died. When his father died, my brother had to start selling dope at the age of eight years old to feed me because because our mother who thought drugs real bad. My father was in my life. My father was in my life, okay? Mm-hmm. It took me to change my life when my brother got murdered. You know what I'm saying? Yes. And guess what? 13, 13 and a half years later, nobody has found my brother's killer, okay? It took me having to join the military get out of the city because my family said, get out of here, don't come back, only, you know, like, only to visit. Because I had my father in my life, it gave me a good head on my shoulders. Yeah. And I'm not taking yeah. any sort of shots towards towards single black mothers, okay? My sisters are single black mothers. Their kids are, are doing phenomenal. So when people like Jesse say stuff like, 
the stuff he's saying. Black people will always have to get this emotional thing first before we think logically. We are very smart people, but we have this whole veil of, um, like, emotion. Yeah. First, okay. Yeah, for, course, example, yeah. for, for, for example, for example, right? <laughs> this is what I don't understand, okay? Um, like, whenever something happens in the hood, everybody say, don't snitch. But, yeah, people want to sit there and say, we need to make changes in the hood, but, yeah, let a black man come and say, hey, let's do something different. Everybody want to call them all sorts of names, right? Very true. You know what I'm saying? You know, you know what I'm saying? I don't understand it. One thing that like, really drives me up the nuts, I know I can't curse in the air, Jesse, but it's when black folks say Uncle Tom, right? Yeah. Have you ever heard that? Or, okay, okay, so, uh, Godfrey, yes. have you ever used that phrase before? Oh, yeah, I've heard it many times. Okay, okay. No, 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 no. Have you, have you personally ever used it before? Have I used it? Yeah, I've used it before on certain Okay, people. okay, okay, yeah. okay, okay. So let me ask you this. Where did that phrase come from? From, from the book Uncle Tom's Cabin. Okay, Harry and Beecher Stowe. Uncle Tom's Cabin. Have you ever read the book? Yeah, long time ago. Okay, so okay, so okay, so in the book, what was Uncle Tom? Uncle Tom was actually not what we the term we use. It did had nothing to do. Is he was actually the opposite. Exactly. So so why is it that black people always have to like pick up certain things without actually knowing about it? You know what I'm saying? Because again, like we're so emotional. I believe. I think that Chris Rock quoted somebody, and he said, if you want to keep a black man down, give him a book. Most black folks don't read. You know what I'm saying? Well, the, the, best, way to hide, uh, the, the best way to hide stuff from a black per man is put it in a book. Information. Right. Well, yeah. right. Well, I mean, so, whatever. You know what I'm saying? You get what? the point that I'm trying to make. Yes, sir. Chris Rock, paraphrase, whatever. But, like, but again, it's like, I really can't stand, I mean... You're entitled to your own opinion. That's fine. Listen, I respect it. I did three combat tours. I lost friends. I put them up in body parts in Afghanistan and Iraq, okay? I support your First Amendment to say whatever the hell you want to say, okay? I respect that, okay? Because that's your right, and I will die for your right to say whatever you want to say. So my thing is, too, another thing that, like, I, I got to ask you. Anton, you, I, I got really got to run. Time? Anton, I'm so sorry. I'm out of time. Will you call me back tomorrow? And we'll talk Is about it behind his back. <laughs> um, like, listen, um, tomorrow I can call you back about about noon. Okay, buddy. All right, thank but, you. But 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 Jesse, one more thing, real quick. Um, <laughs> real Godfrey, quick. If, if you can, man. Yeah. Look up. Go to Jesse uh, uh, Godfrey. Yes, sir. Go to go dot com. It's a separate search engine. Google actually hides stuff from us. Like for example, it was actually no knowledge that there was a part of the NRA that actually helped newly free slaves from the Democratic Party and the Ku Klux Klan. But now Google hides it. Listen, just go to BethelGo.com, do your own research on there, man, because, and then compared to Google, you'll see the lies that we're being fed. But God bless y'all. Thank you. Thank you, Anton. I appreciate it, man. Right on. Excellent call. He black. Yes, he is. He is black. And he so, served, and he's a soldier. Yeah, Respect and he makes good points. Why is it that blacks are, <laughs> most blacks are so <laughs> out to lunch that they don't even think for them? They just... You could yeah. tell them any lie, and they just believe it. Yeah, we, but they uh, won't accept the truth. Well, that's how come. That's how you can. That's how it's easy to become a pastor, and make a lot of money. Just tell them lies, huh? Just fall for anything. I still totally agree with that. You know what I mean? Because the church you got can them ride too. A, you can ride a private jet and just take money from them and fool them into a whole bunch of shit. I think, and I'm and not you saying all black that churches, they but do a lot. It. They black do it to the black like woman easier than the black man. Black women are, they marry majority of the black church. And yeah. that's a shame because you know why? the neighborhoods are all sh messed up and the church is pristine, but the neighborhood is And you suffering. know why that yeah. the black churches are filled with black women? Why is that? Because they love to be stroked. Their egos are so big and the preacher will lie to them mm. and blame it on the man, but not the woman. And they love to be lied to. Mm. I appreciate you coming in, man. Hey, I appreciate you having me here. The one thing about you, you have, you're wrong, but you have a good attitude. <laughs> <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> We're going to definitely have you. <laughs> ah! Oh, that's why I wanted to be on this show. I just love it. <laughs> uh, <laughs> What's your website? Oh, my Do you website, have a website is anything you want to give out? Comediangodfrey.com. You can check out my 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 whereabouts and then uh comedian uh Godfrey Comedian is my Instagram. Follow me on Instagram. Comedian Godfrey is my Instagram. Godfreycomedian.com is my website. You know what I'm saying? Well, we're and gonna have you on the phone. Holla at me. Yeah. Holla. When is this playing now?
Yeah, it was live. Playing now. Oh, yeah, man. You know, you can, I'm in L.A. at the Laugh Factory this week. You know, all that good stuff. Uh, right on. You know what I'm saying? And uh, um, D.C. Improv, guys. July, I mean, I'm sorry, June 27th through the 30th. I'll be at the D.C. Improv. You know, all good. All good. Well, we got to have you back for White History. You have to bring me back for White History. Yes. I'm looking forward to it. Come That's on. Right. I love White History. Joya, <laughs> let's do D-Live before we end. Okay. Hold on a minute here. Okay. Okay. Okay, D-Live. Let's see. Uh, Bubsy Love. No, Bubs Love gave Ninja Gini saying shout out to my wife, Gretchen. Uh, Gretchen, shout out. <laughs> <laughs> um... Let's see. Mr. Man on Streamlabs says uh, <laughs> he's going in on a Godfrey. He said, your guess is dumber than a brick. I can't <laughs> believe Destiny is smarter than this moron. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh that's awesome. Uh, let's see. <laughs> oh, there's a few more. <laughs> Shout out to... Amazing. Oh, on D-Live, we opened the treasure chest. Congrats to Noah's Arkansas, Demented669, Super Dave, Army Ann, and Flo Chinsky. And that looks like all I have here. Oh, so who said something? Oh, yeah, that's it. That's, That's it. it. That's all it. right. Thank you all. Appreciate it. And thank you for tuning in and calling in, folks. I absolutely appreciate it. I'll be back tomorrow if the Lord is willing and the creek don't rise. Have a good one.